Red, your daily dose of vitamin C. And now some football news. Former football administrator Mwansambula Kulima has petitioned FAS President Andrew Kamanga to step down FAS President to relinquish his position following the poor performance of the men's senior national football team. Mbula Kulima says Zambia's failure to qualify to AFCON three times in a row and missing out on qualification for the 2018 and 2022 World Cups should be blamed on the current administration. The former FAS spokesperson says the country cannot thrive on the glory obtained in 2017 when Zambia won the under-20 Afghan, but believes the country can achieve more even at other junior ranks. However, FAS says it is not in receipt of any petition. FAS General Secretary Adrian Kashala, who declined to give further remarks, said the FA does not feed on mere speculations and will only respond once the letter is delivered. Kashala spoke in a telephone interview with RMBC News. Referee manager Azif Banda has implored much officials in the country to raise their work ethic following an incre un increment of their fees. And uh, Banda has told NBC Sports News that Zambia had the lowest fees in the region and that their raise, rise will motivate officials to work hard. He has thanked stakeholders for the unanimous agreement to raise payments for much officials following a fans consultative meeting. And uh, FIFA referee Adric Kole said the increase in payments is a huge motivation to officials. That will do for the news. Let's have a look at the headlines again. President Hakande Hichilema says his responsibility is to save all Zambians. The German government has committed 260 million kwacha to good governance programs in Zambia. Lomwana mine in Kalumbila district is stuck with over 43,000 dry metric tons of copper concentrates in its full storage facilities. Eight out of nine accident victims who died on Saturday.